Let's take a look at the H3 from TID Radio and the problem with repeaters it solves. Everyone wants to know what's in the box. What's in the box? <laughs> in the box you get the radio, a belt clip, a lanyard, USB-C cable, the charging cradle, and a wall charger. Comparing it to the Baofeng UV-5RA, you can see it is slightly smaller, has an upgraded antenna, but uses the same microphone jack. The H3 can transmit at 5 watts in 2 bands, but also has the ability to receive 8 bands. One nice feature is it can receive AM in the air band, so you can monitor air traffic. A feature I like a lot is there is a charging port on the battery itself, and it's USB-C. Since many electronics use USB-C, I don't have to find a special cable. I can grab any of the USB-C cables I have. And since the port is on the battery, I don't have to use the charging cradle either. This is great if you have multiple batteries. The battery itself is 2500 milliamp hour and can last up to 48 hours and only takes three hours to charge through the port. But TID Radio didn't stop there. Under the cover of the H3, you'll find a USB-C port for programming. No special cable needed here. I can't tell you how many times I had to search around for the cable to charge my Biofang. Once connected, you can use Chirp or CPS programming software on your PC. But since the H3 has Bluetooth, the easiest way is to use the OD Master app on your phone. The reason I decided to review the H3 is because it solves a problem that I have with repeaters. If you travel to a new area and want to use the repeater, you would have to look up the frequency, offset and tone, and then find programming cable to program your radio. Or worse yet, try to go through the menu to add a repeater. With the OD Master app, it's as simple as a couple button clicks. Connect using Bluetooth. Select your model. Go into programming, then select repeater list. It lists the repeaters near you, or you could search for a specific repeater. Click Import, then select the channel to store it to. Select Confirm, then click Import. That adds it to the programming file. Then click Write to send it to your radio. A tip on programming. I like to keep the first five channels reserved for programming repeaters when I travel. I then put my home area repeaters in starting at channel 10. I also program NOAA channels starting at 20 and etc. This helps me keep channels organized and easy to find. You can also adjust radio settings using the app. There you'll find your common settings and a few that stand out. One nice setting is adjustable mic gain. Being able to adjust the mic gain is great since everyone talks at different volumes or holds the microphone at a different distances. And if you use an external microphone, you can better match it to the H3. Another interesting setting is the stun and kill. You can set a DTMF activation code for each. And if your radio is lost or stolen, using another H3 you can send that code to limit or even temporarily disable the radio entirely. You could also send a revive code to re-enable the radio remotely. I can see this feature being used if a radio club has a bunch of H3s they use for events. You can store them in a disabled state, then enable them when needed for an event, stopping unauthorized use of club property and possibly preventing theft. The H3 also has one key frequency match. While another radio is transmitting, you could hold down the one button on your H3 and it will capture the frequency, offset, and tone of the transmitting radio. Then you can store it in your radio. Since you can use this with any VHF UHF radio, I can't wait to try this out at McDonald's. You could also program other H3 radios wirelessly. Press and hold the side PTTC button and rotate the power knob to put your H3 radios into copy mode. Then on the H3 radio you want to copy, press the PTTC button again to transfer. It's that simple. Again, this could be useful for a club that has many radios for events. With all the technology the H3 brings, and still be at the price of what I paid for my Biofang years ago, it's time to ditch the Biofang and upgrade to the H3. I put a link in the description below where you can get yours. Don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Until next time, keep the air alive.